Asante ni sana. Mimi umejua nimezoea kushika microphone juu ya marali kupiga TV mnatia lala. <laughs> Asante sana. Asante sana. Ado ya Abu Muriaga. Muriaga rege. Gai ni mwega. Hingo shiwade Asante ni sana Tuko pamoja tuwe amwe Neguo Asante ni sana Mimi kwa majina na ito babu wa wino Mimi ni mtoto wenyu hapa Mimi ni mudoniwa hapa Kwa hivu mimi si Si omgeni hapa Nikikuja hapa Ninatembea Nikifika makutano pale Ninakuja ninapita wanguru Kirinyaga, nikipita huko na ingia mwea, sini ukweli. Kisha after hiyo, niko embu. Nikiwa embu, ninaona pale Dallas. Kisha naona pale mjengu, majengo. Sini ukweli. Kisha naona kanga, kangaru. Ukweli uongo. Nikitoka pale kangaru, naona kivwe. Sini ukweli. Nikitoka pale, niko hapa nembu. Nembure Na niaka, nikiangalia huku Naona kirigi Na kisha naona manyata Na nikiangalia huku Naona mbere north Na mbere south Na nimepita hapo nyuma pia Nimepita blue valley Nikapita na spring valley Sini ukweli Na nikienda mbele naona runyenjes Kwa hivyo mini mtu hapa ama siyo hapa Kwa hivyo mimi naeza lala huku usiku Na mchana niko nairo Situko pamoja kabisa Siku ya leo ni nafuraa sana Kwa mweshimiwa wetu Mweshimiwa gitonga mkunji Ambaye ni mweshimiwa tulie kuwa nae kule katika university Huu mwendo wetu ulianza katika university of Nairobi Na tulikuwa college moja, Chiromo campus Na mimi na ee, atukua ijua ya kwamba mwenyezi mungu Atatueka bunge pamoja Na hata tuku kwa tunajua mbele. Sa zingine wala nyuma. Lakini tulikuwa tunaishi kwa neema wa mwenyezi mungu. Kwa hivyo mwishimiwa asante sana. Na ninajua ya kwamba mwishimiwa usema form ni kuji. Form ni kuji. Sasa nataka ni waongeze zingine. Form ni kuji. Tuma. Na usipojituma utatumwa. Na usipotumwa utatumika Aya sasa tuanze Form ni kuji Form ni kuji Na usipotumwa Na usipotumwa Aya tuanze tena Form ni kuji Form ni kuji Na usipojituma Na usipotumwa Kwa hivyo form ni Memaliza mambo Sini ukweli Na kule Nairobi, tunasemanga wa mama hai. Warembo mwe. Vijana ria. Vijana ria. Waze tibim. <laughs> Waze tialala. Naona mkuazimio njini watu. <laughs> Tuko pamoja kabisa. Kwa mwishimiwa mukunji. Kwa CEO wa NGCDF, Bwana Yusuf Mbuno, wewe tunakusherekea. Pande wa Azimio, pande wa Kenya Kwanza, wajumbe wote wa Independent, wajumbe wote hapa nchini, wanapenda huyu. CEO anaitua Mbuno. Kwa sababu Mbuno anarosafi. Mbuno abagui. Mbuno anafanyia wa Kenya kazi. Mbuno anajua kukosa karo ya shule ni nini kwa sababu ye pia likosa. Na mbuno anatusaidia kule sana Na mbuno mimi pia usinisa au Venye ume Asante sana 
Asante sana. Kwa director wetu wa NGCDF, National Director, asante sana. Wana CDF ambao wako hapa NGCDF. Kwa SCC wetu ambaye pia nilikuwa naye katika university, alikuwa main campus kule, SCC Chalo, asante sana comrade. Kwa SCC wetu Nur, asante sana. Kwa landlord wetu na kwa viongozi wote ambao wako hapo. Na huku kwa wanafunzi wetu. Nimeanza nao kwa sababu hii ni main function ya wanafunzi na kwa wazazi wetu ambao wako hapa Bwana Yesu asifiwe God is good and all the time asanteni sana siku ya leo nataka niongeleshe wanafunzi kisha niongeleshe walimu kisha niongeleshe wazazi mambo hiyo iko sawa alafu niketi so nikianzia wanafunzi tuko hapa kwa sababu yenu mimi nikijiangalia na kuona na nikikuangalia na jiona kwa sababu siku moja nilikuwa nina keti jinsi ambavyo una keti hivi na nilikuwa tu na dream the bible says in the beginning there was the word and the word was with god and the word was god so therefore in the beginning you must have a dream and the first thing that you must do is to seek ye first unto the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added unto you. Ukiamka asubuhi, omba Mwenyezi Mungu mwambie unataka nini kwa maisha yako. Kama unataka kuwa engineer, mwambie unataka kuwa engineer. Kama unataka kuwa kiongozi kama mkunji na mimi, mwambie unataka kuwa kiongozi. Kama unataka kuwa wakili, kama unataka kuwa polisi, mwizi tu ndiye atutaki huo. Sawa sawa. Hiyo tu ndiyo usiombe Mwenyezi Mungu lakini uombe Mwenyezi Mungu kile ambacho unataka maishani. Hiyo ni asubuhi na jioni. Kisha ukishamaliza hiyo, nataka sasa unashika kitabu. Na ukishika kitabu na nitaita hapa wachache. Nataka kuangalia jinsi ambavyo mnakuwa mkisoma, alafu ni wajenge pia kidogo. Nataka kuangalia kama kili iko sawa ama hii basari inapotea. Sawa sawa. Simekubali wazazi sasa kwa watoto wetu ambao wako hapa nataka mnisikize kwa makini education is the key to success the roots of education are bitter but the fruits of education are very sweet when you open the door of a classroom you close the gates of a prison inamaanisha sasa zile umelimishwa utapata kazi maisha yako yawe mema lakini usipoenda shuleni welimishwe au utapata kazi nzuri utaingia katika mambo ya ualifu na uende katika jela kwa hivyo mambo ya elimu lazima uyatie maanani mambo ya school fee wachie wazazi wewe saizi mambo ya boyfriend na girlfriend wachana nayo ukitaka ku hug Kwa sababu kama wewe ni msichana saizi, ukipata mimba saizi, unapata mimba kama wewe bado ni mtoto. Kwa hivyo unapata mtoto ukiwa mtoto, ungwana si ungwana. Na wewe kama wewe ni kijana na saizi unataka kupeana mimba, huyo mtoto nani atamsaidia kama wewe bado unasaidiwa na mzazi wako? Hizi mambo lazima haya mambo lazima tuambie watoto wetu. Na nyinyi ukitaka girlfriend ukitaka ku hug a girl hug a book na ukitaka ku kiss a boy kiss a pen saizi boyfriend wako girlfriend wako ni kitabu na kalamu nyinyi ni watoto wetu na tunataka hapa mbele msucceed hawa wazazi wanaosha manguo ndio wapate karo ya shule Ah wazazi wako katika mjengo ndio wapate karo ya shule. Ah wazazi wanaenda kwa mashamba ya kahawa wameajiriwa huko. Kutoa kahawa, kutoa majani chai ili mpate chakula na mpate karo ya shule. Ah wazazi wanawaangalia kama kio cha familia yao. Kama vio vya familia vyao. Kwa hivyo wanafunzi kazi yako ni kusoma kitabu kama ingekuwa elimu 
leo hii singesimama hapa kama mjumbe kama ingekuwa elimu mheshimiwa wenyu mheshimiwa gitonga mkunji angekuwa mheshimiwa wa manyata kama ingekuwa elimu mbuno angekuwa CEO wa CDF kama ingekuwa elimu wengi wetu hapa atungekuwa hapa ni elimu ndiyo itakutoa kwenye umaskini na ndiyo elimu ndiyo itakusaidia utoe hao huyu wazazi wenyu ambao wako hapa mama yako ambaye yako hapa baba yako ambaye yako hapa utamtoa kwenye matope kwenye shida kwenye ufukara kwa sababu ya elimu kwa hivyo elimu yazingatie na kila kitu iwe ni elimu kama mzazi wako ana shida sisi pia tulikuwa na shida ambia Mwenyezi Mungu akusaidie ufungue macho zaidi uangalie mbele na maisha itakuwa mazuri tunaelewana vizuri kama kuna subject inakusumbua kwa wanafunzi si kila mtu hapa anajua subject zote na hakuna mtu yeyote hapa alizaliwa kama anajua mambo yoyote ama jambo lolote si ni ukweli kwa hivyo kama uko na weakness kwa Kiswahili ama mathematics hakikisha rafiki yako darasani awe ni yule ambaye anaelewa mathematics ama Kiswahili ama subject ambayo inakusumbua na kama hiyo subject ni ngumu usiwahi kubali usiwahi kuitika ya kwamba hiyo subject ni ngumu kwa sababu unapatia shetani nguvu ikiwa ngumu sema bado naweza kuipata kama classmate wako anaweza ijua mbona usijue na mlikuwa admitted in the same school you have the same brains you are created in god's own image and likeness tunaelewana vizuri kwa hivyo ukiwa na shida kwa subject yoyote number one, befriend a classmate mwenye anajua hiyo subject na wewe kama mwanafunzi ambaye unajua hiyo subject usichekele mwenzio manake Mwenyezi Mungu ndiye amekupatia hiyo kipaji usaidiani si ni kweli jambo la pili kuwa rafiki wa mwalimu kuwa rafiki wa mwalimu usiogope mwalimu hata kama ujui ambia tu mwalimu nisaidie juu nilikuja darasani ili nijue tunaelewana vizuri na wanafunzi practice makes perfect practice makes so and proper prior preparation prevents poor performance proper prior preparation prevents poor performance ukijitayarisha mapema utapita mtihani subject kama mathematics lazima u practice every day kama uijui vizuri chukua 30 minutes kila siku u practice hiyo subject mambo yako itakuwa nzuri tunaelewana vizuri but be desperate to learn be desperate to know yearn for knowledge mimi ambaye niko hapa mheshimiwa ambaye yako hapa wageni ambao wako hapa wako na degrees wewe uko high school after high school hakikisha upite mtihani uende university tunaelewana vizuri after hiyo maisha yako itakuwa nzuri wanafunzi mnanisikiza kweli kuna mwingine anaangalia nyuma nitakuita hapa na nikuulize swali angalia tu nyuma asante sana so ninakuja kwa walimu walimu wetu hawa ni watoto wetu wewe at least umeshasoma na umefika mahali ambapo upo kwa hivyo angalieni hawa watoto kama watoto wenyu hawa watoto wana spend time mingi sana na nyinyi kushinda wazazi wao manake wanakuja asubuhi wanatoka jioni wazazi wakitafuta school fees kwa hivyo tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu hawa watoto hata kama yule kama kuna yule ambaye afaulu kwa subject nyingine tafadhali mwangalie kama mtoto wako mrekebishe kiupole usifanye mtoto akuogope mtoto akikupenda ndio utaona subject yako anafaulu kwa mfano kama kuna mwalimu hapa ambaye anapendwa sana katika shule na wanafunzi utaona hiyo subject yake wanafunzi wanapita zaidi na kama kuna yule mkali hapa utaona hiyo subject yake ndio inaperform poorly katika hiyo shule kwa hivyo siri ni moja hakikisha kabla mtoto kupenda subject yako mwanafunzi akupende kwanza
akikupenda hata ataka kukudisappoint ili tuweze kusaidia watoto wetu hawa ndio future wetu hawa ndio mkunji akiendea governor hapa embu hawa ndio wanakuja kuwa mp hapa hawa ndio wanakuja kuwa mc hapa hawa ndio watakuwa madaktari kutibu watu hawa ndio watakuwa mawakili kusaidia watu hawa ndio watakuwa viongozi wa kesho tuwasaidie na usichoke na kuwasaidia kama walimu la mwisho kwa wazazi wetu hawa ni watoto wetu ulikuja hapa asubuhi mpaka saizi bado uko hapa haujakula chochote wala atakunywa maji lakini uko hapa kwa sababu ya mtoto wako. Chukua time na mtoto wako. Ukiona mtoto afaulu kwenye subject moja ama nyingine, tafadhali enda shule, kutana na mwalimu wa hiyo subject, mwambie asaidie mtoto wako. Manake akishafanya mtihani na kama hata pita kwenda university, huyo mtoto anaweza kuwa discouraged maishani kwa sababu yeye pia anaweza kuwa na jaribu sana. Kwa hivyo ukitafuta school fee huku, jaribu sana pia kukana mtoto jua mtoto anaishi aje shuleni ni rafiki yake mgani ndio best friend wake siku hizi kuna mambo mengi sana katika shule jua mtoto ana grow aje hiyo itatusaidia usizoe mtoto akifail we unaita mtoto mbuzi asubuhi saa saba mbuzi we kuja hapo jioni mbuzi we kuja hapo kesho huyo mtoto usipomuita mbuzi akiamka utasikia akifanya me utasema aje usiite mtoto jina ambalo halifai. Huyo mtoto kama unataka awe daktari, muite daktari. Kama unataka awe engineer, muite engineer. Ukitaka awe babu wino, muite babu wino na maisha inaendelea. Sio ni sawa. So kwa wazazi wetu, kwa sababu kuna haja utafute karo ya shule lakini mwishowe au faulu. Na kwa watoto wetu tena, katika Biblia in the book of Matthew 25 14 to 29 the bible says there was a master who had servants this master was going to be crowned as a king in another place then this master called all his servants servant wa kwanza akampatia 5 minas i invest kama pesa i invest wa pili akampatia 3 minas kama pesa i invest Watatu akampatia one mina I invest. Servant venye alitoka akaenda kuwa crowned king aliporudi akaita servants wake. Huyo master venye alienda kuwa crowned akaita servants wake. Wa kwanza akasema mimi ulinipatia shilingi tano. Nimei double saizi hiyo pesa ni shilingi kumi. Wa mwingine akasema ulinipatia tatu. Saizi ziko sita. Na watatu wakasema wewe master mimi nakujua vizuri. Nilijua utakuja kuniuliza pesa yako. Nilijua uko na roho mbaya. Kwa hivyo ile shilingi yako nilichimba chini kwa kaburi nimeitoa ndio hii chukue. Hao wenye walipata kumi, huyo master aliwapatia 10 cities to take charge of. Mwenye alimpatia yeye tano akatoa sita, alimpatia six cities to take ku be in charge of. Mwenye alipewa ile moja, alinyang'anywa hiyo moja, akapewa yule ambaye anaye. Ndio posa Biblia inasema, the little that you have, if you don't use it, shall be taken away from you and given to those who have. Si mnajua hiyo story ya jamani. Kwa hivyo watoto wetu, wazazi wetu wamewapatia hela, wamewapatia investment. Iangalie vizuri, invest utoe double. Kisha utaona matunda yatakuwa nzuri zaidi Hapo tena nilisikia hapa vizuri sana hawa wazazi wetu sa zile wanatafuta school fees kuna shida mengi sana na hii nchi kuna shida mahali popote kuna shida huko Embu kuna shida huko Nyanza kuna shida kila mahali na tusichoke na tusife moyo nimejua hata kwa kahawa mnaenda kuchuna ndio mlete school fees na ninajua tena pia lazima tuwapiganie kule bungeni kwa sababu mimi kama babu tulisema ya kwamba baba akienda AU anawacha babu na babu akibaki hapa anahakikisha serikali inafanya yale ambayo wale ahidi wananchi wa Kenya tutahakikisha ya kwamba kahawa 
bei yao iwe nzuri wakulima wetu wapate pesa nzuri na kwa kufinya serikali si ni kweli ya pili kama bei ya chai iko chini tunahakikisha bei ya chai ipelekwe juu ili wa, ili wazazi wetu wakulima wetu wapate riziki yao tutahakikisha kwamba serikali ipeane ajira njia rahisi ya kumaliza hii pombe ya ramu ni kupeana kazi kwa watoto wetu maanake an idle mind is a devil's workshop kwa hivyo njia rahisi zaidi ni serikali kuhakikisha ya kwamba watoto wetu wapewe aji ajira na pia kwa maskari wetu nilisikia kuna police station inatengenezwa hapa sisi tuko in support ya mambo ya security wale ambao wanafanya uhalifu wanaleta insecurity mnajua vile mna deal nao lakini kuna wale wa boda boda ambao mnashika isiwe mheshimiwa mkunje anajenga cell ya kuweka watu wao waki ambaye boda boda akiiwa na asipokuwa na kitu anaingizwa ndani hiyo sio mzuri kwa hivyo maafisa wale ambao wana randa randa mkiwashika jioni mpatie mattress kwa sela lale mpatie chakula ale asubuhi kifika toa land cruiser impeleke nyumbani kwake na umpatie shilingi mbili anunue nao dhuhu sio ndio Kenya tunataka jamani wamama ha warembo mne OCS tibim la mwisho asante sana asante sana la mwisho nataka nifanye jambo kidogo sana hapa kuchangamsha tu watoto wetu kisha na kupatia kitu gift nataka kuona venye mna operate utachukua dakika tano tu sio ni sawa hapa kwa wanafunzi wetu nani anaelewa Kiswahili vizuri Nataka uwe confident hata kama ujui kuja useme hiyo jibu hapa hilo jibu ambalo sio sahihi kuja useme hapa lakini useme confidently kwa sababu we ni mwanafunzi bado una learn Si ni ukweli you are still learning so usiogope Awacha yule msichana aje kuja Njo Aya kuja Mwingine tena wa Kiswahili Asante Asante sana nisaidie na microphone nyingine Songa tu hapa karibu Mpatie wa kwanza kuja hapa karibu na mimi tu usiogope Wewe ndio utasikuja kusimama hapa Mheshimiwa kisha kuwa gavana sio ni sawa Shika hii Jina lako ni nani? Nyaga Christine. Asante sana. Uko form? Form 4. Form 4. Asante. Sasa shairi iliyo na mishororo tatu inaitwaje? Utatu. Wa, walimu hiyo ni sawa? Si tathlitha. Walimu. Ni sawa. Aya, mimi nilijua tathlitha kwa hivyo mimi pia nime learn kitu, kitu geni kutoka kwako. Si ni kweli? Kwa hivyo wewe unakula tao. Leta hii. Si unaona mlikuwa mnaogopa bure? Aya, kuyeni tu hapo kujeni. Wewe sasa rudi. Shairi iliyo na mishororo nne inaitwaje? Tarbia. Eh, hey, hao wanafunzi. Msinimalize jamani. Aya. Uko sawa historia? Historia. Naam, no, acha nijaribu. History. Naam. No. Asante sana. Give me two reasons why Kenya was colonized. Um because of the source of River Nile. They wanted to fight the source of River Nile mm -hmm. and then because they wanted to find a market for their product. Perfect. Another one. Umejua historia ukiambiwa peana reasons kumi unapeana ishirini. Endelea. Huyu <laughs> ako sawa. Uh -huh. uh, they wanted to also to find surplus. They wanted to settle uh, surplus population to Kenya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tunaona hapa huku katika mlima kuna wenye waliletwa walibaki huko. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
wale ma white settlers ndio uh-huh. they wanted to find the uh, raw materials perfect huyu mchana ako juu asante sana nani hapo ako sawa english kijana mmoja tu english english hata kama ni msch- uh, kuja Yaani warembo ay 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 boy child boy child akoaje Aya Asante sana what is the plural of crisis plural of crisis 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 plural of crisis crisis Aha uh-huh. jaribu tena uko karibu crisis Almost almost ako karibu ako karibu Ehe uh-huh. Crisis crisis Ka- Wacha tu ni nini jua ako karibu kuipata Nani anaweza msaidia Crisis Jaribu tu si umejua hapa tuna learn hapa si kucheka ama nini ku, ku- learn si ni kweli kuwapatia confidence Okay, cry? Crisis. Ah uh-uh. crisis. 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 Very good. Wewe umejileta hapa. Nilikuwa nataka sasa nikupatie nyingine. Unafanya geography? Eh? Biology? Math? Shika. Math is the easiest subject. In fact, Ukitaka kujua maths every day, every morning, sema maths is easy. Maths is just 10 times every day. Alafu ita stick, mambo itakuwa sawa. Sawa. Aya, uko form? Form 3. Form 3, sawa kabisa. Umefanya vectors? Yes. What is a vector? A vector is the It's a Jaribu tu. It's a quantity which has both magnitude and direction. Perfect. Clap for him. Wewe uko juu kama upstairs of heaven. Mwingine wa maths aje hapa. Mwingine wa maths aje hapa. Unaona girl child wako sawa? Boy child wako wapi? Aya. Hapo tu ume, uko form? Form 4. Form 4. Weka microphone karibu na unaitwa nani? Grace Mokami. Grace Mokami. Maths. Umefanya vectors pia of course, ndio? Yes. You know what we call modulus of a vector? Yes. Or magnitude of a vector? Yes. What is the magnitude of vector 4 3? Perfect. Clap for her. Thank you. Aya. Maths tena mwingine. Boy child ako wapi? Wa mama ha. Warembo mwe. Vijana ria. Kujeni hapa mavijana. Nataka tu wawili. Eh, hey, very good. Asante sana. Jina ni nani? Morin. Morin. Yes. Asante uko form? Form. Form 4. Very good. What do you want to be in life? I like to do a weka, weka microphone hapa like na unaongea unaniangalia kwa sura hivi. Hiyo ndio confidence, sawa sawa? Yes. Hapa? Eh uh-huh. I like to education in history and theory. Uh-huh. So what do you want to do in life? Education in history and theory, right? Yes. Okay, good. So maths uko sawa? Eh. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Tell me a five sided polygon is called a heptagon mm. karibu karibu nyamazeni <laughs> wewe uliogopa sasa unapiga una nduru hapo na uliogopa eh <laughs> eh uh-huh. jaribu ten okay a six sided six sided confidence 
Gojeni nataka mpatieni confidence. Asi. Chenye tunajaribu hapa ku discourage ni ya kwamba mtu akijibu wrong answer in class you don't laugh. Kwa sababu swali yako inakuja. Sawa sawa. Mna mu encourage. Sawa sawa. Na ako sawa ako almost six sided. It's an hexagon. Hexagon. Very good. Seven sided. Wacha hiyo. Wewe ndio utakuja kutoa hiyo tawa hapa. Uh -huh. Seven sided. Heptagon. Heptagon. Very good. Eight sided. Octagon. Perfect. Nine sided. Nonagon. Perfect. Ten sided. Decagon. Eleven sided. Almost. Aya hiyo ni homework. Sawa sawa. Sasa yeye nampiga tao mbili. Sawa sawa. Aya. Nataka mwenye anapenda biology. We kuja hapa wewe mwenye alikuwa na scream. Aya, kuja pia. Hiyo confidence ndio mimi napenda. Aya, wacha tuanze na e, alafu wewe, si ndio? Ladies first. Thank you. Thank you for the respect. Okay. Aya, weka hapa kwa mdomo. Jina ni nani? Mushangi Orfa. Uko form 4. Form 4. Yes. Asante sana, nakuuliza. Nani yako form 1 pia? Nani yako form 1? Kuja. Kuja. Form 1 haya hapo. Sawa sawa. Sasa kwa form 4. Kwa form 4. A man umefanya chromosomes. Chromosomes. Yes. Ha? Ah. Haya. Kwa sawa? Ah, ah. Mike, Mike. Okay. Okay. Chromosomes. How, by now you know formation of a baby, sindio? Yes. Wale, wazazi hii na fundishu wa huko form 4. Sawa, sawa, sasa usishtuke. How do you form a baby boy? It is the... Ah, ah. Mami, tafadhali. Suwali yako inakuja sasa wewe sa hii. Uh -huh. from the Askizeni tafadhali from the X, X chromosome that is determined by the mother. Uh -huh. X chromosome determined by the mother. So what comes from the father? Y chromosome. And joins with the X chromosome. Clap for her. Aya. Hey, namna nimaliza. Asante sana. Shika hii. What is photosynthesis? This is the... Nyama zeni tu. Ye ni form 1 na hiyo iko form 1. Si umefanya hiyo? Yeah. Aya, weka kwa mdomo. Jina ni nani? Hilary. Confident. Even if you are saying a right thing or a wrong thing, you must say it confidently. Weka hapo aya. Jina ni nani? Hilary. Two names. Kiama. Very good. What is photosynthesis? This is the process of plant to make their own food. Bado hujamaliza. Na hiyo ndiyo nyinyi mlijua yote ukufikia hapo, si ndio? Yes. Endelea. This is the process by which plant make their own food. Using using the uh, yeah. using sunlight. Very good. Aya. Ah, During photosynthesis You know photosynthesis now, isn't it? During photosynthesis, what are the reagents? Do you know the equation of photosynthesis? You know? I try. Water and air. Water and? Yeah. Which air? Oxygen. Ah, uh, sasa huyo mwenye alikuwa anapiga kelele zaidi anasema wrong answer. <laughs> Water and? Which air? Carbon dioxide. Perfect, carbon dioxide. So water and carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight to give us what? Water and carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight and a green, green coloring matter called chlorophyll to give us what by products? 
What do we get? Try. Just weka unaitwa nani? Pamela. Pamela. Sawa, so, weka microphone up. What is the byproduct? Sa so, zile tumesha weka plant may absorb carbon dioxide na kuna maji na kuna sunlight na kuna chlorophyll inatoa nini tafadhali oxygen oxygen very good that is one and energy ama atp uh -huh. energy very good which is sugar ndio aya wa mwisho geography 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 Aya. Aya. Mmefanya types of rocks, eh? Yes. Mmefanya types of rocks. Tell me one type of rocks. Ig sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks. Sante. Thank you. Aya. Sawa. Sawa, sawa. Microphone. Aya. Aya, aya. Up. DJ 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 Sawa sawa kabisa. Sawa sawa asante. Wacha nianze na huyu form 1 umesema unafanya agriculture? Yeah. Agriculture. Ndio. Sawa sawa. Na nilikuuliza geography kwanza, si ndio? Nilizia agriculture. Agriculture. Yeah. Sawa sawa. So, tell me one type of a rabbit. Uh, California. Kali? California. Eh, uh -huh, very good. California, iko sawa another one. Asante sana. Kuna nyingine tena inaitwa chinchila. Sawa sawa. Aya, umejileta. Agriculture ama geography. Agriculture. Tell me one type of uh, two types of uh, cows. Freshian. Freshian, sawa. Wewe mwingine? Wewe sasa unakujia mathematics. Kuja hapa. Lakini napenda hiyo confidence. Very good. Uh -huh. Agriculture. Agriculture. Yes. Now another type of a cow. Cow. Freshian, another one. Yes. There's Freshian. Another one is called. Uh, a cow. Yes. msaidie sasa tuachie hapo huyu ni wa mwisho huyu ni wa mwisho tuachie hapo gansi jasi iko sawa haya kwa agrikuja kuja tu kwa agriculture muulize swali moja ya agriculture ya form 1 what is agriculture is, is, is an act of livestock Uh -huh. Another one, Patias Wali Nyingine. Branches of agriculture. Physical. No, physical and. Oh, okay, for trying, watch at Umpatia. Aya. Tulisema geography. Two types of uh, rocks. Sedimentary. Indigenous. Na? Indigenous. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh, sedimentary and? Igneous. Yes. Igneous rock. 
Igneous rock is also called Igneous rock is also called Geography Igneous rock is also called Magnetic rock Sio ni sawa Aya sasa nataka umulize swali Kwa geography Kwe ni agriculture Esabu hey, Ok very fast In 30 seconds Concentrate hapa Sawa 2 plus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 Minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 Yes That is 0 4 No Negative 2 Negative 2 amepata Aya Sasa hawa Nataka umulizane swali moja moja Tumalizia hapa Uliza huyu swali Songa hapa Which subject? History Afanyi history Mulize swali in maths Biology Unafanya Physics Real universal No But you are trying Just try, 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 try. Basic needs are like food, clothing, education, health. What are their characteristics? They are. Sawa sawa. Smama apo kando kidogo. Wewe uliza uyu swali. What is physics? Unafanya physics? Ah, yeah, what is physics? It is the study of Wake a microphone here. It is the study of energy. It is the study of Another question Mulize. Amwambie jibu kwanza. It is the study of energy. No ni sawa. Labda kwa najua nataka juwe. Sini kweli? It is a study of energy. Ok. Mpatia characteristics of basic needs. They cannot be postponed. They are satisfied first before secondary ones. They cannot be stored. Very good. Sasa njini wawili. Shukeni sotano sotano for trying. Aya wewe uliza huyu. Swali. Unafanya subject gani? Biology. Uko saa bio? Aya. Uh, what is the study of birds? Just try. Don't worry. Even if you make a mistake, birds. fall 10 times, rise 11 times. Sawa sawa. Entomology. Entomology. Ask another question. Make a microphone up. Okay. Answer hiyo kwanza ni gani? Study of birds? Ornithology. O? Ornithology. Ornithology. Hata mimi sikuwa najua hiyo jamani. Na mimi ndio mwalimu hapa. Mwalimu wa maths hapa ni wapi? Haya <laughs> muulize another one in bio. Uko form? Form 4. Haya muulize. Uh, give one difference between a light microscope and an electronic microscope. Difference between light microscope and electrical microscope. Wake a microphone up. Don't worry about the answer. Just say it. Just the magnifying lens. Yes. You, wake up. Wake up, Ivy. Yes. That's the microfine lens. Uh -huh. what, are, what are the differences? Uh, in light microscope, it uses light to illuminate a specimen, but in electronic microscope, it uses beam of light to illuminate a specimen. Very good. Where Pia Mulize Swalimoja? In bio, 
Weka microphone hapa. Mhm. Give me Weka microphone up. I want you to be confident. Confidence. Sawa sawa. Aya. Give me two branches of biology. Botany, zoology, microbiology. Very very good. So Shika hii. Shika hii. Asanteni sana. Mungu wabariki. Aya, kuja hapa. Hawa tu tumalizia hawa. Unaitwa nani? Ha, tibim. Sema tibim. Aya, jina mama ni nani? Shinpe. Eh, jina mama ni nani? Aya, shika. <laughs> Na baba anaitwa nani? Baba anaitwa nani? Oh, Kiembu. Oh. oh. Eta eta. Ha? Eh? Mami, mami et, eta wa? Eta gwatia. Aya. Sawa sawa. Wacha hawa ni wajenge tu warudi, si ndio? <laughs> Pelekea mam, shika hii moja. Shika hii. Ah, shika hii. Pelekea mam. Aya. Ai. Hey. Aya tosha 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 Aya asanteni sana asanteni sana Sawa 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 Sasa nimemalizia Nataka ni washukuru hapo Nataka ni washukuru sana kwa wakati wenyu Na mwenyezi mungu wa bariki sana Next time tena tutarudi Mungu wa bariki sana Na asanteni sana God bless you all